Heroes and their stories come in all shapes and sizes, but the best ones are always larger than life. So much larger, in fact, that we've come to accept that some of our most heroic stories are probably nothing more than legends. Or are they? There are some people and stories in history whom we assumed are about as real as Superman and his exploding planet. But in fact, plenty were likely not only real, but a thousand times cooler than the Man of Steel. The Viking Legend of the Berserkers The Vikings are basically the go-to stock characters for the most manly men who ever manned, right? All the Vikings did was go around and killing and looting and pillaging and, well, that was about it. The fierce warriors supposedly took their violent skills all over the globe and had badass gods so sweet we're continuing to make movies about them to this day. But sometimes normal Vikings aren't enough. That's where the fabled berserkers would supposedly come in. Blessed and fueled by Odin himself, berserkers were more monsters than men, said to be able to cut down whole hordes of soldiers with a single bout of rage. Basically, they were ancient supervillains, the Viking equivalents of Bane. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Which means they definitely didn't exist in reality, because no human that strong could ever exist, right? Wrong. Berserkers actually did walk the earth and were super strong too. It probably wasn't because some one-eyed popper god filled them with divine rage, but more likely their awesome strength was provided by the same things as your average backyard wrestlers and typical Dr. Phil guests. Massive amounts of drugs and alcohol. Catch me outside, how about that? The Legend of the Amazons. Speaking of other places that we know exist, let's talk about the Amazon. You know, the place with all the rainforests and secret prehistoric tribes? Legend has it that the mythical Amazons were a fierce band of warrior women who may have been immortal, which is where we got the ideas that inspire characters like Wonder Woman. Some people put so little faith in the Amazonian myth that what history says were Amazon women, they insist, were just beardless men. But in truth, the Amazons did exist. In the early 1990s, archaeologists discovered 150 graves filled with ancient Suramatian women from near what's now known as Kazakhstan. Many of these women, as the Smithsonian put it, were anything but ordinary. They were buried with their weapons and sometimes with other people's weapons and they were mostly tall, 5'6 on average, which was very tall for that time period. That reveals that not only were they fierce, badass women back then, but they were literally Amazonian in appearance. Obviously, the fact that they were in graves disproves the legend that they were immortal, but they were still amazing warriors, as documented in various historical texts. Does that mean Wonder Woman was real too? Well, give or take one star-spangled leotard, maybe, kinda? Looking at it that way, not only could Batman vs Superman be considered historical fiction, but Warner Brothers might even be able to cook up a female-led crossover with 300. You know you'd watch it. How do you expect to defeat Zeus if you can't even beat a girl? The Myth of the Great Flood The tale of Noah's Ark is one of the most famous myths ever. It tells the story of a huge flood sent by God, a catastrophe that one man, Noah, was warned about. He gathered his family, animals and plants and saved them from the coming disaster, like a Stone Age disaster movie. But Noah's Ark isn't the only great flood myth around. There are stories of one in almost every culture. For instance, perhaps the earliest written story ever found, Agamemnon, features a great flood that resembles Noah's to such a strong degree that, if hotshot lawyers had existed back then, the Bible might have been nailed for copyright infringement. Of course, there's a good reason for great floods existing everywhere. It really actually happened. In the Black Sea area, a huge flood occurred that had the force of 200 Niagara Falls at once. It utterly decimated the area, which made it only slightly less epic than the flood of Noah because it didn't straight up destroy the entire world. However, if you're an old timey dude and a flood covered all the land you could see and had ever known, what's the difference? The Expedition of Hyperborea There are a bunch of stories similar to the Hyperboreans. Know how in the Lord of the Rings there's an ancient race of elves, 
pure and wonderful, that are smarter than everyone else and have special powers. The land the elves come from is a beautiful and super great land made of sunshine and candy, practically perfect in every way. In other stories, there's Atlantis, a beautiful and perfect technologically advanced nation from which mysterious travelers emerge, bringing stories and knowledge. Hyperboreans are another tale of perfect creatures from a magical land, except, of course, unlike Legolas and his terrible wig game, the Hyperboreans were actually real people. See, the Hyperboreans were known to the Greeks as people who worshipped Apollo, the sun god, while living in a beautiful and perfect land. While the facts have gotten twisted over time, researchers have asserted that, after examining all of the evidence, the Hyperboreans were actually Chinese. Yeah, instead of some mythical and advanced type of people that we don't really know anything about, the mythical Hyperboreans may have simply just been Chinese folks traveling near the Arctic Circle before heading down into Rome. The Irem of the Pillars The Bible tells the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, a large and beautiful city that, due to its sinful and terrible people, was utterly destroyed by fire sent by the wrath of God. Urim of the Pillars is basically that, but instead of being found in the book of Genesis, it's found in the Quran. It was a center of danger, iniquity, and genies. And unlike the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, Urim of the Pillars has actually been found. See, there's another lost city called Ubar. That's right, Uncharted 3 players that place. It's real, it's been found, and Nathan Drake is totally real. It was a frankincense heavy trade post located in the middle of the Ruba Kali, also known as the Empty Quarter, which is the emptiest and most inhospitable place on earth. It's a huge desert, like something out of a horrifying fairy tale. It turns out that Uba and Irem of the Pillars are the same city, but the latter has a nice shiny coating of myth on it. No word yet on whether or not gods destroyed Ubar because its people wouldn't stop being wicked, but the archaeologists are probably working on figuring that one out. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.